Ever wondered how we measure the world around us? It's all thanks to physical quantities, the backbone of our understanding and measurement of the universe. These are attributes or properties of material and radiation that can be quantified. They're broken down into seven base quantities, length, mass, time, electric current, temperature, amount of substance, and luminous intensity. Each plays a crucial role in our daily lives and scientific endeavors. Now, let us dive into these physical quantities one by one. Starting with length, the size or distance of an object, measured in meters. The symbol for length can be either L or D, and it has multiples like the kilometer for longer distances or the centimeter and millimeter for smaller ones. Moving on to mass, it's the amount of matter in an object. We measure mass in kilograms, symbolized as M, but we often use smaller units like the gram or even the milligram in everyday situations. Lastly, let's consider time. It's the interval between two events and we measure it in seconds, represented by the symbol T. But of course we often talk about time in minutes and hours. These three physical quantities, length, mass and time, are fundamental to our understanding of the world around us. They are the building blocks of many other concepts and measurements in physics and other sciences. These are quantities we use every day, but there are more complex ones to explore. Moving on to electric current, which is the flow of electric charge, measured in amperes. Think of it like a river, but instead of water, it's electrons flowing. Next we have temperature, gauged in kelvins, that gives us a measure of hotness or coldness. Remember, zero kelvin is absolute zero, the coldest temperature possible. Switching gears, let's talk about the amount of substance quantified in moles. A mole is a specific number of entities, such as atoms or molecules, much like a dozen represents 12 of anything. In this case, a mole is approximately 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd power entities, a number known as Avogadro's number. Lastly, we have luminous intensity, the amount of light emitted by a source measured in candelas. Imagine a candle's light, that's approximately one candela. These may seem complex but they are fundamental to our understanding of the world. In summary, physical quantities allow us to measure and understand our world. Whether it's the distance we travel, the weight of an object, or the time that passes, each quantity has a unit. From the ampere that quantifies electric current, to the kelvin that measures temperature, or the mole that counts the number of entities in a substance, each has a vital role. Even the candela, quantifying light intensity is pivotal. Next time you measure something, remember the physical quantity and its unit behind it.